This is gonna serve as my intro because I don't have one of those sorted yet, but you will forgive me. So, a couple of things. You're gonna to wanna to wait till the end of this video because I talk about some things that I learnt. Um, that was sort of one of the first paying jobs, but I think it's uh, some key insights there. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to do is subscribe, hit the bell, but also jump on over to TikTok. If the followers are under two and a half thousand, the giveaway is still open. Um, we're gonna give someone the choice of polishing the front bar, all the tanks, all the wheels, completely free. Just follow it and we're going to draw that at 2,500 followers. Just an easy uh, round number there. So let's get that going. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and um, wait for those tips at the end. Enjoy. I got the phone call. Jake, when are you coming tomorrow? You want to be here at 7 a.m.? And I'm thinking, I do not want to be there at 7 a.m. And I said, what time's the truck going to be there, washed, ready for me to crack on? And he goes, mate, in about an hour. And I said, hells yes. The story is, what we're going to do, the plan, is I'm going to get a crack on this polishing ASAP. The quicker I start, the quicker it gets done. Uh, I like an afternoon shift, I like a night shift. I'm just going to sand today. I believe there's two bars, two tank ends, some shrouds and a whole bunch of stuff. So it is going to be full on. But it'll be a great test to see what I can actually achieve in a day because I don't, I don't think, well, see see how long things are gonna take me to do. So I don't have Kira with me. I'm gonna try not to be distracted, which is very difficult for me, but we're gonna see what we can get done today and then finish it tomorrow. So we're on our way now to the supply shop. I need two boxes of 80 grit, two of 180, uh, and I've got every other grit. So, that is the aim for today. We're gonna go and sand out as much of this as we can. The man of the hour, how are we going? Good mate, good. Love the stuff. Oh, we've been doing some polishing. Yeah, you mate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Got to get, got to get that first person view. No worries, mate. Just got your list here. Ooh, sweet. 120, 80, 120, 180. Three grits. Perfect. That's one pack. Three packs. Interface pack. That's Perfect. The pack pack. Goes straight Loves here. it. That's the one we want. Yep. Yeah. And three white, two pink, two red, two box. Perfect. Yeah. Done. Let's well, box her up, mate. Right. Legend. Done for you. Cheers, mate. Good man. Alrighty. Okay then. Love you, everyone. Good one. Religion, you mate. You're right with this? Yeah, yeah bro. Okay, Good. Right, I'll see you on the next one. I've been getting a lot of messages lately from people saying, hey, what's your location? Where are you at? What are you doing? I've had people from New Zealand. I've had people from all over the world, actually. I'd, I'd travel, put it that way. I'd travel. I've got zero issues with jumping on a plane for four days. So, one of the things that will probably end up happening is we're going to be taking a flight somewhere with all our gear and, um, yeah, see how it goes. I wonder what customs would say when I turn up with bricks of polish compound. I might have to pre-order it and freight it there ahead of time. <laughs> I'm out, have fun, and yeah, enjoy the video. Right, well I said this is the infamous dilemma bar that we were talking about on TikTok earlier. Just rubbing my hand over it to feel all the low spots and all the damage, it is always worse than what you think. Now we're gonna have to start this bar at 180 grit, and you're gonna see in the next video, why that scuff on the edge there is what i was talking about i started out by running over the whole bar in 180 just to see where the low spots are and you can actually see 
how bad it is as we go along. It looks like a cow, looks all patchy. That's just giving me an indication of all the low spots that need need to be addressed. Unfortunately, the uh, 150 mil, the seven inch buff or whatever it is, just wasn't enough. So I had to then jump on over to this alloy block uh, with two sanding discs. I'm gonna have a better uh, option uh, soon with bigger paper on that block, but the block, it just helped immensely. See, I'm going a uh, long ways there. I'm changing direction because that's the, just the best way for it to cut. Now I'm just gonna leave you guys with it. Enjoy the rest of me being punished by this block. Changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much Dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still finish in one, yeah, yeah oh, 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 oh. Memory lane isn't that too far away from our hearts, yeah, yeah The ones we keep close, we should never let So I've been watching a lot of Evans detailing. Um, he uses Time to Shine products. I believe he's used Renegade when he first started. But his understanding of alloy and you know all things metal polishing is just unreal. He's an absolute magician. So I've been watching a ton of his videos. I've been basically just going to YouTube University and trying to get a deeper understanding of what's going on um, and being more efficient. So. Um, I, I've been using a mix of different products, Zephyr, Menzerna, and all of those, so enjoy. I'm defeated, conflicted, and hungry. <laughs> this bar is going to be the death of me. I, my shoulders are so sore. My hands are so sore. My back is really sore. It's something that I'm just going to have to go through and do it. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. You know, it's... um. I don't want him to roll around with a piece of crap bar and then me say I'm the one that polished it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually be happy with that. So, you know, I'm looking at it now. It's looking back at me like I'm going to ruin your life. <laughs> But I want him to roll around. I want to see him on the highway and say, mate, say, say in my head, good job, Jake. Bit of effort, but you know. So I don't know what this bar is going to turn out like. I have a feeling I'm going to be sanding for a long time. But you know what? It's a journey. I've chosen to polish. And that's just what comes with the territory. And I've got to continue to do it, no matter what. You know, we've started, we have to finish. No matter how long it takes, you don't then jack the price up. Short story long is, I'm going to go home via food. I'm going to get a drink of water because I'm thirsty. You can hear it in my voice. But I don't know what this bar, I don't know what I'm in for with this bar. I really don't. So let's just see what happens. Still got tons to do on it. I still got tons to do on the battery boxes. Still got tons to do on the shrouds. I still got lots of stuff to do. So let, let, let's, 
let's just go and tomorrow's a new day and we'll see what it brings yeah let's go All right, ladies and gents. That's only the first cut. There's a couple of areas that we couldn't address. Obviously the bolt holes here, you'll see. A couple of areas around that bolt hole was too, too big. So yeah, we did the steps. Let's go have a look at the steps real quick. Battery box. Battery box took forever because it was not, I'm trying to move the lights so you can get. Oh, he dirtied it. Let's get cracking. Alright. This is the mess. Got a scraper. There. Time to clean up. Let's get it all out of here. There we go. No time to go. to self flat block now that job's done got more to do at the yard little car car I'm gonna go home via some food because I am starving trucks parked out there now gotta do some cleaning up but lesson learned what did I learn from this look oh, I'm gonna lean this way if you think if in doubt, do it again. Because you don't want to get to the very end and then have to go back to the start. That is a punish. I tried a lot of things out on this one. Very happy with it, very happy. So is the customer. Oh, it's just one of those things, isn't it? It's, it's, you don't know how far to go. For friends, you always go further, but you just don't really, um, you just don't really know how far to go. 
Um, what else? If you think you have a lot of time, you don't. And I think my biggest issue... Look how dirty I am. I think my biggest issue is not time management, but I don't really know when to accept a certain level, like certain standard. Don't polish indoors is definitely one of the big ones. Anyway, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to clean up, head home, and enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe, please, because it goes a very long way in getting all of this information out there. And let's have more fun.